What's up guys? Good morning. It is time for another weekly stitch with me where we spend an hour or so and I ramble and stitch and you guys stitch along or whatever craft you want to do. Today we're going to do the Chicago Bears because the football season is upon us. We've had some college games and pro games start on Thursday. And it's a holiday weekend here in the U.S. And that means a little extra time to get things done. I thought I'd work on the Bears piece today. Today to see if we could fill in. I don't know how much we can fill in. But I picked up a bunch of the little um, colors, little floss colors that I need. Little floss colors. And we're going to stitch on this baby for a little bit. Just tighten it up here. Ooh, ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, I'm still wearing my headphones. My goodness, I've been walking around all morning. I haven't even listened to them yet. I think I've had them on my neck for two hours. Good gracious. Let's figure out which reading glasses we're going to wear for today's little foray. These don't seem right anymore. These don't seem right. My eyes keep changing. Just keep changing. Just keep changing. Changing, 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 changing. Let's look at this. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know why that's in my head. But it's in your head now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not fair. It's just not fair. I'll wear these. Try these out. It was super bright in here this morning. I had to. I actually took the. Um, closed the blinds a little bit because it was so bright. Wee. Wee. Wee wee wee. Alrighty then. So. been a wacky week. been a very busy week. Thursday was a ton of cleaning and I broke, as you saw in the vlog, I broke this the carpet cleaner which really is a bad thing when you have six dogs. And so I uh, got a new one came in Friday night. Haven't used it yet. Want to use it? Really want to use it today. Wanted to use it last night, but I was way too tired. Took it to work and used it at work in a couple places where we've got, um, where we have issues. So, so got them, got that clean. So we'll see what it looks like when I go back in on Tuesday, but it looks pretty good. And then, um, Um, sorry, I keep thinking, I keep having distracting thoughts. Uh, what else am I saying? Um, but I'm going to use it later today, especially after we just got the dogs, these bones at the grocery store, which I don't normally get them these bones, but decided to because kind of wanted a little bit of peace and quiet for a little while. And the best way to do that is to give the dogs something really gross. Gross seems to get their attention. Hmm. Chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp. There we go. And so, yeah, so pretty busy Friday after work. Friday was crazy at work. And then after work, we went and ran over to. Um, Home Depot and uh, rented a floor cleaner. We needed to do a deep cleaning on the final floors at work. And that was a lot of fun. 
half sarcastically. It was it was good. It was good. It was um. It was I I have cleaned floors before. It's been many many years. Um, probably I was twenty ish, you know. So over twenty five years since I last used a floor cleaning machine like that. But you pick it up again pretty quickly, and didn't get everything that I necessarily wanted to do done. But I also just didn't really have the time. So um, turned out to be a much busier day than anticipated, and consequently. I got about half done, which was which was good actually. It's still very noticeable. But we went in really early. Uh, my husband went outside and did all the landscaping and worked on that for a while. And between work and all the cleaning, I was there from like seven to four, and got a lot done. So that was good. I was happy about that. Oh, but today I'm so sore and tired. Back is sore, arms are sore. I could barely lift my hands last night when I got home. I was like, can't, I can't pick my arms up. And uh, that was a little uncomfortable. But it was all good. I'll be really sore tomorrow, I bet. That won't be uh, that won't be as much fun, but I will be home all day, so I'll be fine. Get over it. Get over it just fine. Sorry, I'm off in my own little head again. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about all the stuff I want to do. All the stuff I got to do. Oi. You can tell. Yeah, I know you can tell I'm tired. I know. All right, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. My brain, I'm letting my brain take over. You know how like when your thoughts just kind of take over and you just go off in your own little world? That's where, um, whatchamacallit, um, Meditation can help sometimes quiet that. We're going over to some friend's house today. Gonna have a little barbecue. Barbecue mouse. You guys remember that Tom and Jerry bit? Barbecue mouse. But anyway, we went over to uh, a muffin store. They actually have these muffin stores that make these gigantic muffins with like a cream filling oh my gosh because I didn't hardly eat anything yesterday I uh, had a little bit of a mini breakfast sandwich and then didn't eat anything else until about four and then even then I was just I was I was like overtired and thirsty so I drank a bunch of water. We went out to this, our favorite little Mexican restaurant, and I got these little taquitos. They were very cute. Muy pequeño taquitos. And uh, it was uh, it was awesome. So that's the place where I usually, like, I'm obsessed with their... Um, I'm this off. I was obsessed with their bacon-wrapped shrimp. I still am, but it was too much food for me to get. And then I started getting hungry around 8... I was like, oh, I'm getting ready to go to bed soon. I don't want to eat too much. So I had like a healthy choice meal, frozen meal thing. I heated up. Then I was like, all right, I feel okay. And then I went to bed. And I went to bed at 9, and I could not sleep. My body was just like so just 
over physically tired and I'm highlighting and, uh, just kind of a mess. And, uh, I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get to sleep for a bit. And then when I finally did get to sleep, I kept waking up and finally I, um, I went and, uh, got up. Oh, I woke up at like four and then I, I waited till about five thirty, five forty-five, And then I finally just got up. I'm like, yeah, I'm just wasting time laying here. We went to the grocery store and what do I need to do here? Mm, color, 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 color. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta figure this out for a second. One second. I still have that stupid um, Saturday Night Live for Saturday Night Fever song. Saturday Night Live. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little orangey orange. A little orangey orange. But, oh, anyway, so Thursday was busy because we had the whole cable guy coming over and a clean, so they get everything ready. And then, you know what? You know what? I cleaned inside over and over and over. I was like, I just really want to clean because we all feel like that when we have somebody coming over, even if it's somebody that we'll never see again in our entire lives. We're like, the place has got to look good. And they did that. And I got to tell you, you know how much time he spent inside the house? It's probably a total of two minutes. Everything was outside. In fact, in the end, the cable problem was down the street somebody had where our cable hooked into a bigger box um something had happened to it down there and created a bunch of interference and the guy just needed to kind of um, track it down and then change i don't know probably change something out but now we have lightning lightning fast stuff lightning fast internet which is all i ever want it's all i want out of life it's lightning fast internet well maybe maybe a little bit more than that but that's a that's a big thing i got Oh, I, on the vlog, if you didn't see the vlog, the one of the fish died. Um, and I think it was a terrible accident. I totally think that I spooked him or I did something. He tried to go underneath the little log. It was the fish. It was the smaller cichlid that was in with the pleco. And I think he tried to go under this log, and I think he got trapped and then literally just died there. Um, and now that the tank is there and the pleco is in it. But here's what I'm gonna do. So we're changing some things around. So I actually went and ordered, finally, a bigger tank because the blood red parrot, birds, this is not about you. Cowboy, sailor. You guys are happy, aren't you? That's why you're singing. Um, and so they, um, man, are they being loud today? Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three. Oh, well, this one actually should be orange. So I'm just going to go over it with orange. There we go. Okay, I covered them up a little bit more. I'm not sure how much it's going to work, but they're getting on my nerves. It's so funny because, well, it's not so funny, but. Half of you guys, it seems like there's part of you guys that like to listen to the birds and then part of you that don't. And I know there's a fair number of people who, I'm not going to worry about that little imperfection. I know that there are people who don't watch because they don't like the birds. And I fully understand that. I do. Um, my preference would be to not have the birds talk at all, to be perfectly honest. But I know some people like them. Um... I just this room where the birds are at happens to be the be the absolute best room to to uh, stitch in. So kind of can't help it. S 
sadly. Sadly. But uh, anyway, so getting new, getting a big new fish tank. Um, gonna come. Uh, it's gonna be a couple weeks before it gets here, so I've got time to kind of get some things organized. But they're gonna redo the fish, so it's gonna be I think a 50, 55 gallon tank. So I'm gonna put the blood red parrots. Um, I'm trying to think of it if I'm going to put them all in there. I, I Temporarily, I'm going to move the big dark one in with the Pleco. Because the Pleco doesn't have anybody else in that tank with them right now. Except for the snails, and they don't really, they don't talk much. And so, I'm going to move him in there. Take the tank he's in. And take it temporarily down. I'm gonna take down the, um, gonna move the two other tanks that are on that big huge rack. We're gonna take the rack down completely. Um, it'll create more space, it'll make the living room look a lot nicer, I think. And uh, we're gonna just have another stand. I think my husband will, I'm gonna have him build a smaller stand for the slightly smaller tank. It'll be, 30, 40, 30, 40, 30, oh, something like that. And um, the one that I have now that I can use. And so I'm going to take the, the 20 that I have, move the two fish, the little the bonded pair that are together, somewhat bonded. Um, they fight like a married couple. Um, an old married couple, let's say that. Not us. Never us. Um, move them into the bigger 30-gallon tank. So give them more space. Put them in there with a couple of snails. Um, that's where they started off. It'll be good to go there. Then take that tank, and I might use that tank for the axolotl. Because I want to move the axolotl out of the tank that he's in because there's not a really, it's not, it's never been designed to have a top on it. And I really want to get a top on it because I lose so much water out of there all the time. I feel like it, you know, he does really well with it, thank goodness. Um, doesn't seem to cause him a big issue, but I don't want to keep exposing him to, to that. One, two, three. So we're gonna do we're gonna just redo the all the fish. Get them all squared away. Hmm. Oh, maybe I didn't mess this up. Maybe I did not mess this up. We'll see. Oh man. But yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. At least the Chicago part's going to be a lot more filled out. That's going to be awesome. So if I do that. Oh. No, I think I did do this right. I might have done this correct. That would be fine. And if that's the case, I'm just going to stitch over the blue, okay? I thought I had made a mistake. I don't think I have. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes we don't know until we're there. It's all good. Ooh, speaking of that, which is not speaking of anything, but it just popped, something popped in my head. So my husband and I watched... Um, um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, um, last night. It's fun. Fun. Nice popcorn movie. We just like Godzilla. We think he's cool. Um, I really like the first movie, and then this one was even more cool. Just being respectful to the legend that he is, and, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. So we enjoyed it. We both... We um, got that little TV that we now put up between both of our computer monitors so we can both sit at our computers and actually watch a movie together, which is, which is kind of funny in a way, but 
sometimes it's the only way you can do it when you got a bunch of crazy dogs who want to see you all the time, talk to you all the time. This is going to pop, 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 pop. Got my fantasy football team drafted last night. So, hold on a second. Yeah, there we go. We, um, we've had this league for uh, like 10 years or something, something crazy, like really long time. And it's composed of, um, the teams are composed of, uh, we have a, a Georgia division and a Colorado division. And the Georgia division is composed of, like, my buddy back home who started the league a long time ago so, and a bunch of his friends. And then I think my brother is on that side too, or he may be on our division side. He may be in my division side because it's like, it's like my buddy's group and then my group, we both put together a group to form a, a, a league of, of 10. And so, like, the rest of the people on my side are, are, like, just friends. And most of them are friends I've known for, like, 10 years or more. And so we've just been doing this for a while. And the problem is, is that because, like, everybody has families, everybody has different time schedules. Um, count here. One, two, three. Uh, because of that... We do an auto draft, which means we basically can set certain parameters. Like I want you, you know, I want you to draft a quarterback first, or I want you to draft two wide receivers in a row, or just you know, however it goes. And um, and so you do all that, and then basically when the when the draft starts, it's all done by the computer. So it's literally like boom, and it's done. And I was very happy because I got my quarterback, Baker, Baker Mayfield, and um, I got I got a good team. Um, my feelings about fantasy football are for the guys that may be walking by or watching, uh, is that probably forty percent, maybe thirty percent of your team success is based on your draft. And the most of the rest is based on the moves you make in the first six weeks of the season. So just because I got guys on my team doesn't mean that those guys, probably half my team will be different in a month because I just, I'm very aggressive with picking people up that are, that need a team, players that need a team. And so... Look at that little splash of color we got there. I'm gonna highlight. Speaking of splashes of color, I gonna highlight. Highlight. Bum 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 bum. The highlight. Da 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 da. Highlight. Bow bum bow bum bum. Highlighters. Bum bum bum. Hmm. I need a, I need a back poppage. I'm definitely gonna need to go see the chiropractor this week. That is not in doubt. But I feel good. You know, my, uh, my, my back is. It was in need of a good workout. Strengthen it. It'll make me feel better overall. So. I think it's a good thing. Hmm. There we go. So in the uh, 
in the in the big clean in the run up to the you know with with the big clean I thought for sure I'd find dachshund but I did not thought for sure but it didn't happen and so now I'm just gonna get a new color pack and I'm gonna start over people because that's what we do we start over Thankfully, I was only on page two, and I honestly do think that when I switch to a fourteen count fabric on that on that piece, that I will go. It'll go that much faster. I think it'll be really bada bing bada boom. Get my drift. Hey, who's uh who's uh, worried about the hurricane as far as coming through? Hurricane is it Dorian? Um. Or, uh, I want to shout out to my mom and dad, my, uh, my husband's parents, who are in Jacksonville, outside of Jacksonville, hoping that they stay safe and dry as much as possible with power, please. Um, that would be awesome. My mom is likely too far inland in Georgia to be worried about it, which is good. But I got plenty of folks that I know that are in South Carolina that hopefully will hunker down and be okay. Perfection. Perfection. Doopity 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 doo. Doopity poopity poopity. Three weeks till honey harvest. Honey harvest 2019. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome. I gotta try on my honey suit or my bee suit. We had to get me a new one. It came in, so I need to make sure that it's comfortable. Comfortable and it fits right. That's right, it fits right. Well, this Chicago is really gonna pop. I don't know how my bears are going to do this year. I, uh, I'm, I'm rooting for the bears. I'm rooting for the browns. I'm rooting for... Who am I rooting for? Um, let me go through my teams if I can. I, ha I have root for the Broncos. I know I should totally root for them, but it's tough living here and not being a big-time Broncos fan because it's like everything is Broncos. Um, let's see who else I root for. I like the Vikings, believe it or not. I know they're rivals, but I like the Vikings. Um, I mostly root for players rather than teams, but... Oh, 
don't like the Texans. Of course, gotta root for the Colts after what happened with Andrew Luck retiring. I still can't believe he retired. I mean, I know, it's well within his right, but two weeks before the season, dude. I mean, come on. If the team knew that way in advance, that would be, well, maybe, who knows, maybe the coaches and the play or the players probably didn't know, but maybe the coaches did, but I don't know. But anyway, let's see, who else? Oh, so oh, I have my, I'll do it on the vlog this week before the, um, before the first game. But I have a, a board that I got off of Amazon some, like, three or four years ago. And it has a magnetic leaderboard um, that it has for all the football teams. So every division has, you got a little magnet for each, each team. And you basically can put, like, where, I always, I always predict at the beginning of the season where I think everybody's going to be. So I need to do that. Um... I may do that for the vlog, uh, like do the whole picking selection thing for the vlog. And we'll see how wrong I end up being by the end of the year. Cause I'm usually like 50% right. There'll be some things that I'm like, wow, that was really smart. And then others are like, wow, that was really dumb. And so we'll see. We shall see. But mostly just watch it for the stories like the stories. I've already watched more college football in the last couple of days than I watched, I think, all of last year. Just having that TV next to the computer just makes it that much easier. It's pretty sweet. Hmm. 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 snag. Am I snagalicious here? I think I got my flosses a little twisted there. Don't get your floss in a twist. I wish they had one of those for hockey, a little standings predictor thing. I probably could just mo get another one and modify it with hockey stuff. Although it's different because there's what six teams in each division and it's just done differently. So I don't know. I don't know if it would work. We would have to see. So I'm gonna definitely film. I need to. I need to film another um, cross stitch pattern site video to today. Well, for tomorrow. Um, release one tomorrow since it's Monday and what else we got um I need to film the how to film a floss tube video uh, which I needed to redo but I don't feel like being on camera anytime soon so we'll figure that out I mean, not when I say anytime soon, I just mean like this morning. I feel like I'm still like, mostly asleep. Mostly asleep, which means you're somewhat awake. Chicago. Chicago. All right.
All right, all right, all right. I should have found, I, I'm missing 3750, and that's a lot of the little ones right there. So the good news is when I do get it, I will have less to worry about, which will be good. Um, let's look at more colors. I don't think, did I bring 318? I don't think I did. No. No. Nope, 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 Stretch, man. I gotta stretch. So we're supposed to get a particularly rough winter. And oh. 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 Sorry guys, I mean, I'm serious, like, I'm gonna be so sore, I don't even be able to open or lift my arms tomorrow if I don't stretch today. It's a really good workout. I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna pay for it. It's probably gonna require a nap. Uh, I find that, for me, naps are, like, if I just mentally, like, tired, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really think, or just sleepy, being sleepy is one thing. It doesn't mean that I should take a nap. It usually means I just need to get up and do something different. Um, being mentally tired sometimes just needs means I need a little inspiration. I won't always take a nap. But when I'm physically tired, when I literally am, like, my body is aching and I'm tired and my body's like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, it's usually for my benefit. Like, it's... It's definitely something that there we go. It's definitely something that I need to pay attention to because if I sleep, then I wake up and I usually am like feeling so much better. So that's huge, huge. Let's see here. Come here. There we go. So that's those are the really long naps where it's like that's that's a guaranteed two hour nap, possibly three. And then I'll wake up, my body'll be like, oh, rejuvenated we feel great and depending upon when that was I may or may not want to go to bed at the right time that night so boop 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 But I can, I can, I can see uh, one of those body naps being needed at some point coming up. Cause you, you only heal, you only grow, you only get better when you sleep, right? Something like that. Hold on here. Hold on here, there, folks. This is. Look here now. Mm. Right here. Oi. Yeah. Let 
Okay. You know, 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 Shoot, there may be a map in a couple of hours. That's a possibility. That could happen. Whatever you gotta do, right? Whatever you gotta do. Watching this football game the other night, it's Tulsa and Oklahoma State. I felt so bad for these guys, these kids. 19, 20 years old. Poor center. He's trying to hike the ball, and he's just, I think he just mentally psyched himself out. And, uh, oh, poor dude. I mean, he was like hiking the ball like over his quarterback's head, like four feet to the right. It was all over the place, and he hiked, and they got like, I want to say it was like a safety because of that, and there was a touchdown recovery, and there was another fumble, and then it was an interception. It was just like, oh, man. Some days, some days it's not your day. You just got to use it to make yourself better. That's right. I must stretch. I must stretch you. I must stretch you. Sorry, that's like a takeoff of I must break you. But no, I must stretch you. Hmm, baba hum, baba hum. Okay, I'm gonna grab. First of all, let me put this color back with this color. Put these colors back together because they're a nice little group. Booby dooby doo, booby dooby doo. Booby doo, booby doo, booby doo, booby doo, booby doo, booby doo, booby doo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What? what else is going on? What else is going on? Just non-stop. Non-stop. A lot of stuff at work done this week. A lot of projects finally moved into the next phase. We were really busy. Um, October is a special writing challenge month that I have with this group that I belong to and so writing for my work blog, writing for my cross stitch blog and the other ones that I have, I have others, um, all that, all that and more 
but uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, now did I do that? Yep, I did that. Did I do that? Um, and here. There we go. There we go. So, thank goodness I'm a fast typer. My personal goal is 100,000 words this month. But the realistic goal is 60,000. But we'll see where we can get to. It's 2,000 words a day minimum published published work, not just written, and that's it. And I got that little bit right there. Let me nope, can't find where it comes through, so. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of writing to do. I'm happy about it because I needed have needed to be doing some writing. I just need some sort of a. Sometimes I need a little bit of a push to get going with it. And that we will do. We will, we will get a little push. But. Do, do, do. I haven't really been doing anything with the website other than um, posting videos lately, so I need to add a chunk of content, another chunk of content. A chunk, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk. take a nap today. Well, I pulled that through again, didn't I? Go back here. Well, then it disappeared, so that's good. But... Green giant. Don't know why that popped in my head. Oh, I know, because I was getting ready to say ho, ho, ho. Green giant. So this is going to be cool. This is going to look good because it's going to fill it in a bit more. It's going to look like uh, oh, it's going to make the letters pop even more. It's going to be awesome. Ho oh. ho 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 ho. Mm. Right here. One, two, one. I 
think I'm, it's going to be one of those days where I'm going to be like hungry all day, no matter what I do and what I eat, because I put myself in a caloric deficit yesterday, and my body's like, what is this? Why do we not have more calories than we could possibly ever use? We're not used to this. Before I go any further, let me highlight. It's looking good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So I don't do the um, football package, per se. I don't do the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Sunday NFL ticket, because I don't have direct TV. So, and I think it's ridiculous and dumb that you have to have direct TV in order to get that special package. The NFL can make so much more money. And I'm not saying that because I know exactly how much that DirecTV, DirecTV pays them for that. I do know that if DirecTV loses that contract, their business goes under probably. Um, because that's by far the biggest reason to get to have that nowadays. Oh, I just got a scratch. Oh, there we go. So, but, one of these days, I'm going to get the whole act together. And I'm going to be able to watch individual teams, individual team things or whatever. Times will change eventually. Sometimes it just takes longer. But if the owners can be convinced that it will make them more money, then they will do it, because that's what it's all about. So I had a, uh, I'm sorry for all the sports talk, but we are in sports season, a.k.a. cross-stitching season, but um, the sport of cross-stitching. But I uh, had a discussion yesterday with a gentleman. We disagreed on whether or not Ezekiel Elliott should actually sign. Should he be in camp? Should he sign? And the gentleman's opinion was, well, you sign that contract, you must honor that contract. You must uh, do what the team asks you to do or tells you to do because, you know, you are, they have your rights and you should do that. And my point of view is the owner's don't supply guaranteed contracts. So if it was a guaranteed contract, I would be on your side. But because this guy could hurt himself, and he could, you know, have his leg ripped off or something and be done with his career, and in the next game he plays, he has no guarantees. Well, whatever guaranteed money he has, I think he's already been paid. So now he's just working off of... He's trying to work out the rest of his rookie deal. And... It is one of those things where he is, you could say he's outplayed his contract. So he is one of the best in his position, he wants to be paid that way, he wants to maybe triple the money that he's making right now. The Cowboys are being really persnickety about it. They're trying not to give in, set a precedent that they're giving in. I'm like, you know, this guy... This guy is your franchise right now. I don't care what Jerry Jones says. They're they're not making the playoffs without Ezekiel Elliott. They're just not. Um, and I would make him your you know give him a give him a four or five year contract and and pay him and then just but but just a four or five year contract because it's quite possible at the end of that time. You will have run him to the ground, and he will not be able to hardly play anymore. So let the man make his money. If he waits another two years to get a new contract, he could be, he literally could be past his prime and past his prime earning years at that point. So I'm all in favor of the guy holding out. I think, uh, um, with Le'Veon Bell, with the, um, Steelers last year when he held out the only thing about that was that 
I know why, I know in a way why he was holding out, but I mean, dude was getting a double franchise tag. I mean, he was going to get paid like, you know, he threw away like $18 million and that's, he'll never make that money back. Like what he did, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hurt this season and he, although he has his contract, like he may have just passed his prime and maybe that was the point. Maybe he knew he was passing his prime and he's like, I got to get a big contract they're not going to get it for me. If I tear my leg up this season, my career could be done. And maybe that's the case. But, yeah, you know what? Football owners are, they are a very greedy bunch. They're a greedy bunch of billionaires. They got that way by being billionaire. They got that way by being greedy. And they're going to stay greedy. And they're going to keep their billions. So, you're going to fight for what you can, when you can. I think that's it for now. I think I've reached a point where I I need to go get more colors and I, that I don't have. But I'm at that point where I probably should just stop the stitch with me anyway. So we just filled in a bunch of little stuff. It's cute. Got that in. Got that in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just need to track down a, like three or four colors to color literally color that in. And so it's looking good. It's getting there. It's getting there. All right. I'll undo this so I can just pull it out of this thing. I had put it in. Well, I shouldn't say I put it in. I took it out earlier. But now I got it in. Yay. Hooray. So wait, let's pull this out. So we are right like there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm get all the way across and then come down here and start filling all this in. Ah, but thanks for hanging out with me with this stitch with me. I am going to uh, go ahead and upload this so it's up hopefully before 11 or 12. And I will see you guys tomorrow in a video about another cross-stitching pattern site. And we'll go from there. Uh, I think, um, I know I talked about doing Heaven and Earth designs, but maybe I'll do Ronnie Rowe because I know a lot of people know about Heaven and Earth designs. I like to do the sites so people don't know as much. And, um, and Ronnie Rowe was really like a big reason why I got, um, bigger into cross stitch. And the first designer I think that I really truly like was like, oh, this is amazing. And so maybe I'll do Ronnie Rowe. Yeah, let's, let's do Ronnie's site. So, all right. Thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys in a weekly update soon and some other videos that are coming out this week. So take care. Ask me any questions down below. And I will see you guys soon.